Hello YouTube, my name is Xude and welcome to Arrow.io. This is a game that is, I think, I'm pretty sure, made by the other .io games, Slither.io, Agar.io, uh, any game like that, it sh this is made by them as well, I think. I'm not sure, so IO company, don't copyright attack me. <laughs> anyway, um... So yeah, I found it, and I kind of enjoy it, so I was hoping you guys on YouTube would too. So yeah, I've already, there's four arenas, and I've already gotten to the third one, because it's not that hard. But yeah, anyway, let's start in the beginner arena, and uh, basically what you're trying to do in uh, uh, Arrow.io is you're trying to kill all the other people with your weapons and you basically you love once you kill people you get experience and also by collecting those stars which uh wherever you level up or whatever you can sorry I'm a little stopped up whenever you level up or whatever you get to choose a new upgrade and the upgrades help you against other people because like you can get Sidekicks, you can get arrows going behind you like I have one. You can get double arrows like this. You can get uh, speed boosts, health boosts, defensive boosts. You can get your range uh, extended. Um, you can change your weapons, which I don't really like to do. I like to stick with a certain few weapons, but whatever, whatever, it's whatever. Uh, you can get defensive things flying around you. Uh, oh, freak me. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this Arrow.io. That was offline. Now we're gonna, I'm basically going to be doing one gameplay in each one of those types, except for team play, because you have to have other people. And sadly, I have no one else with me, so no one else to play Arrow.io with. So... Whatever, uh, let me check something. Alright, I am back. I had to check on the internet, so now we should be good to go for an online game. Yeah, there we go, let's get more range. Because I haven't done much online, so I have no idea how this is going to go, if it'll go well or not well. Seems such as not well considering... <laughs> How intensely bad the lag is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die because of the lag. Um, okay, there we go. Escape. Escape. X Judy escaped. And this is going on YouTube's attention. All you people in Agar or Arrow.io, if you can hear me, I am recording for YouTube. So yeah. Oh, freak, I think that these guys are after me. No, speed boost. Oh, lag. Whatever, I really don't care. Now we're going for the Masters Arena. I'll start off in an offline game and then go to an online game. Pretty simple. Or at least it should be. Uh, I play, I actually got this, and I play it at, well, obviously I got it. But I play it at school quite a bit. Because, oh, no, what is wrong with me? Wow. Okay, this is one of the weapons I did not want because I hate this weapon because of its short range. You see that? See how short that range is? Oh my gosh. Anyway, that doesn't count because I accidentally chose the wrong thing. Aha, here we go. Sidekick. So these are sidekicks. This is actually the first one I got. But basically, these guys will help you out a little bit by firing like that, like just like so. But this is only one of the many sidekicks. They're usually like very more, or not very more, <laughs> uh, more powerful. Oh, not really powerful. They're as powerful, but they're a lot less direct. Like, you see that? Like, that's the way that I'm supposed to be going, and that's the way that my little buddy is going. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go with this one. This, these are basically homing um, uh, arrows. Uh, the homing arrows do exactly what they sound like. They will catch on to an enemy and try to seek 
out the enemy, but they will only go so far as they normally would when you shot them. So, for instance, like, they will only go to right there, right there, right there, real quick. Anyway, they will only go to right there. So, if an enemy were to get out of range from there, then the arrows would stop and crash like that. But, I have to be, I have to aim for the enemy still. I can't just, like... There can't be an enemy right there, and then I aim back here and then shoot and hit him or her. Uh, it doesn't work like that. But, I mean, it helps out with aiming a little bit. But, I mean, you can't just, like, like I can't aim like that and expect to hit that guy. Well, he's dead now, but I couldn't aim, like, that guy. He's behind the wall, but I can't aim like this and expect to hit him. Like, it's not just going to home on. Like, you do have to actually aim a bit. But, yeah, I mean, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is a tough choice. See, strategy plays a huge part. Do I want defense help, sidekick help, or offensive help? I'm going to go with offensive help because just because I think it would be better because I'm pretty good aim in this, well, pretty bad aim, actually, but this will at least help a little bit with aim because there's some more widespread shots, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, there we go. Hey, I was trying to get you earlier by aiming backwards, and I was explaining to YouTube how that doesn't work. Ah, uh, okay, this one's risky. This little upgrade is risky because you could always... I'll be right back, YouTube. I gotta go check something. Alright, YouTube, I am back... And I have not died, so I did not die in the process of pausing. So yeah, that's good. Alright YouTube, I am back once again. Sorry for that, something happened and I had to go check on it. Ah! Anyway, I have lost my thought process of what I was talking about, so... I know what I was talking about. Anyway, uh, let's get this upgrade. So basically, this upgrade allows you to... And close for some close attacks and that little spinny thing will harm your enemies so that was not a good target thanks a lot there person not really that sarcasm is sarcastic anyway uh yeah if I if an enemy were to run up on me then that little spike would protect me. Like that guy, he had a shield. I don't know if you guys saw it, but that guy had a shield, and it was basically the defensive equivalent of this. If someone were to attack at that shield and it hit that shield, then it would bounce off of the shield, I think. I never actually <laughs> um, tested that theory, so don't really uh, hold me to my word on that because I've never tested that theory, so that may be completely wrong, <laughs> and... Yeah. Anyway. Aha, another sidekick. Sidekicks. No, that wasn't... Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you see why? Because if someone is psyched like that, then the bombs are going to be pretty terrible. Because, you know, you're going to be doing your thing. Someone's going to come out like, What's up, bro? Check out my new sight. Swing it at you. And then you're just going to throw some bombs to nothing, no avail. Because, you know, you know those people... Yeah, they kind of knocked you backwards. Yeah. Oh, I guess you can get range. It's pretty good. I didn't think it would affect the bombs. But another, a good thing about the bombs, actually, is actually throw them over walls. So, like, these walls, you'd normally not be able to throw. 